Today we're going to show you how to add an outlet off an existing light switch, like this one right here. Inside the switch we have two wires. Each wire has two conductors. We have a hot conductor, or a hot conductor and a neutral conductor. The hot conductor brings power to the switch, leaves the switch and goes to the light. The, new, the white conductor brings the neutrals to the switch and then out to the light. We're going to tap off the hot neutral to add an outlet down here and I'll power it off the, um, the existing switch. We have two wires. Two wires right here, they're both 14 two wires. Inside here we have two conductors in each wire, a black conductor and a white conductor. The black conductor carries the hot wire, it carries it to the switch, the switch opens it and closes it, which turns light on and on, so the power goes in when, when it's open and goes through the light, and when it's closed the light's off, and it brings the neutral, which just goes in here, gets connected and goes straight to the light. This is an old work electrician's box. I'm going to use this box to install the new outlet. To find the height, we're going to use an electrician's hammer. We are going to put it there, press the box on top, and trace out a pencil line. To get a wire from this box to this box to feed the outlet, I'm going to use this fish. It simply slips in the hole in the back of the box, drop it down there, until it comes out the bottom. I should have just about enough there. I'm going to reach in here and see if I can find it. There. There you go. With the fish out, I'm going to take this piece of electrical tape. I'm going to tape it to this wire and use the pull it up to the box. Now I have a wire between the fish. Now I have a wire between the new outlet and the switch box. We are going to install this 15 amp outlet. You'll see you have a gold side, a silver side, and a green ground screw. Now what you want to do is the white goes to silver, black goes to gold, and green goes to ground. First, you need to cut this about, you want about six inches out of your box. So that's about six inches there. Make sure the power's off. You're going to want to strip it. There you go. About that much. About that much. There we go. Now, modern outlets have quick connects in the back. We, um, as a company, we do not use them. They, they have a tendency to get loose and they trip our fault breakers. So what we do is we make the wires so they go around the screws, which is a much better and tighter connection. To do that, you want to put a half twist here on your, on your wire, tap the hot one, tap the neutral, and do that for your ground. Okay. This I will put the hot one on first. You put it on here, there's a little bumper right there. And you do that, to, you cinch it up, and you want to put the, the wire so it twists around the same way you would be tightening up, tightening up the screw. So there you go. You get the screw in here, uh, missing it there. And this will tighten this up. You get this nice, cinched up nice and tight. Now we have this extra screw that's, that's, that's out. We're just going to screw it in because there's no need to have the screw head out. Now we're going to do the same thing with the neutral. The little bumper there, up there, makes it nice and tight. Get in there, get in there. And you're going to take this and you're going to tighten it up. These connections got to be really nice and good and cinched down. And finally, the ground, which grounds. This, the yoke, and the center hole here, and that gets tightened up. Now, because this is an old work box, 
um, we are going to use take these ears off here, these yoke ears, because they're going to they're going to keep this outlet from sitting flush. So all you do, they're pre they're pre pre broken. Just do this whole thing. Yeah, that's probably take the ear off here, take the ear off here, and take the ear off right here. A little more difficult to do it for the camera. There we go. And this way, when this gets this gets screwed in here, there's a little raised bump right there that um, the ears will not be keeping the cover plate off. So you'll see a lot of times in your houses your cover plates won't be fitting crop properly, and that will be the reason why. So you just screw this on here like this. And as soon as this gets energized, we'll have a brand new Allison right here. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that. Since the ears are off, it's sitting below these two, two things, these two raised things that hold the um, the box in place, and that's only for old work boxes. Now we're going to finish this whole thing off with this cover plate. There we go, and we'll tap, make it flat. You can see since it's all tight with the wall. A lot of times you'll see there'll be a gap there if people don't take those ears off. Thank you. Here is a switch that we're going to add a, a new feed, a new outlet to it. This wire here is from the new outlet, which is just below. We uh, fish this up to the box. We have two wires in here. One wire. One wire brings the electric in to the, to the switch, and one wire brings the electric out to the light fixture that we have here. Um, inside the wire we have two conductors. We have a black conductors and white conductors. The white conductors are our neutrals and they're under this wire right here. And the black conductors, one black brings the hot in and the other black brings the, um, the hot out. If we use a tester, here's kind of an old tester but it works just fine. We're going to put one, one of the tester leads on, on the, um, the yoke which is grounded and one on, you know, one on the hot wires. You can see right there, let's see if we can get it for the camera, you can see right there that there's power in both these. And that's because the switch is on. When the switch is off, you'll see the lights go out. That one's hot, that brings the power in, and that's the wire that goes to the light, and it's not reading hot. So that's the power in this wire here, and that's the power out to the light. Now with the switch off, I am going to add this extra wire here. First thing I need to do is take my electrician's knife and strip the new wire it's out of the way. And here we go with the electrician's knife. We're going to get under there, just ride it out nice and gently. Here we go. Cut it. Get back there. There we have the ground, the neutral, the, the neutral, the ground, and the hot for the new outlet. First thing I'm going to take off is this ground wire off of this switch. I'm going to take undo it here. So whoever put this in originally did not do it the best of jobs. But here we go. Here's your ground wire. And I'm going to take this new one here. And we twist it together, bond it up nice and tight. Make 
cut the other one off. And there we go. The ground is connected. The neutral here will get tied in with these neutrals. Pull it apart. Match it so it's about the same length. Here. I'm going to cut it real fast. And it's going to go on with these these neutrals. So we'll loosen them up a little bit. And then get that thread in there just right. So it's going to be nice and tight. There we go. So now the outlet has a neutral. Off these neutrals. I'm going to take this wire nut. There's no need to tape wire nuts on. They are supposed to cinch up themselves. It's a little too much there. There we go. The wire nut cinched on there. You can see that. Now that neutral is all done. You can go back in the box. Now we need to feed the outlet. So we want to cut this to length. Drip it. And put a little hook on there. All right. Now make sure we put it on the one that's hot all the time. And that one, I believe, is the one down here. Or huh. Oh wait, it doesn't work because the ground's off. Here we go. There's the hot one. See, the yoke didn't work anymore because the yoke is no longer grounded. So that's the hot one. Here we go. I'm going to cinch that in there. Loosen this up. Put the ground on there. Twist in there nice and tight. This is going to provide power to the outlet. So let's twist it on there nice and tight. Always screw in all your loose screws. Then all we have left is to put the ground back on. Just twist around like that. Nice tight there. Cut off the excess. Here we go. We can put this box back in here. Put the in the end. Make sure it's facing the right direction. The light still works. See this box is a little out. Push the box in a little bit. Alright, now we just screw this out, the switch back in. And there we go. Once we put the cover on this, the entire thing will work, and we have an outlet that has been fed off of this switch. Final cover plate. We have two screws.